Hello, Hornets. Welcome back to Culture Shock, where creativity comes in many forms. Once again, it's your host, Ibrahim Delati, and today uh, we have Angel Gomez and Dominic Torres from Fontana, California, here with us today. How are you guys doing? Awesome, man. I'm doing great. Awesome, man. Thank are you guys excited to be here? Yeah, we are, actually. All right, I'm so glad. So go ahead and tell me a little bit about what it is you guys do. So um, we pretty much, we do a lot, but the um, main thing is we, uh, we make clothing. We have a clothing brand that we're just starting off, well, not starting off, but really starting to take serious as of now. Yeah, we, we created this whole platform in which we do uh, all types of creativeness, so that's based around the clothing. So we do the videography, the photography, the editing, the designs, everything that we do, we do in-house. Oh, okay, so it's all by hand. Yeah, we create everything by, by yeah. ourselves. Yeah. We, uh, yeah, pretty much have like our own team, per se, or certain people that we try to work with within our group. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, what's the what's the name of the brand? So uh, the name is actually Mori Concilium, which is uh, Latin for die by design. Okay, and what what inspired you to come up with that name? That's a very interesting name, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, well, the inspiration came from we. Uh, I had kind of just over the. It took forever to come up with the name, and then one day I kind of just came up with die by design. Die, die. We always been kind of like for some reason playing around with the idea of death. So die, I created Die by Design, and then my friend Jerry has his own thing that he does separately, which was in Latin, and we figure it be rooted, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? So we kind of just combined the, t the both. Yeah. We kind of all just came together. That's kind of what the brand was. Um, we have like the ideas, the sewing, and then the content wise, and we all just kind of just came together for this one big thing. Okay. So. What decided to have you guys bring Mori Concilium into being? What what was the inspiration that was like, S let's do this? Honestly, like since I've met him, like in high school, uh, we uh, clothing has always been a big part of us. We've always been super interested in it. It's always been like an everyday thing. I mean, you wear clothes every day, you know what I mean? And so, like since a kid, like my mom used to always make sure that I was outfitted properly, and it was just something that. You know, I think he can relate to it as well. You know, the same way. Yeah. That kind of. Yeah. Yeah. We figured it's always it's always gonna be with us, so it's something that we should really take serious. Yeah. Pretty much our, our like own expression, and if you look at some of the clothes that we have, like um, whether it be like the quotes or the, the actual images that we have in the clothes, um, it's it's just a sort of a, an expression of, of how we feel about the world around us, pretty much. And that was and a little bit of your feeling is behind Marty Concilium, right? Yeah, yeah, we actually put a lot of feeling into it. We have like, we have some designs that we want you to feel um, how we felt when we made it, um, yeah, which we'll see in the future. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's definitely hard to be uh, in that line of business, I'd imagine. It's like, takes a lot of work and such. And uh, I'm actually uh, really looking forward to seeing the pieces that you guys have uh, in store for us. Um, we're we're going to go ahead and get into a commercial break. So go ahead and uh, you know use the bathroom, grab a snack, and when you rejoin us, we'll be seeing some pieces by Mori Concilium on Culture Shock. Thank you so much for joining us. And we are back. Thank you so much for rejoining us here. Uh, we had uh, Angel and Dominic talk a little bit about their clothing. Now to go ahead and show you some of their pieces. Dominic, Angel, if you both would. Yeah, so uh, starting off, since we are in our beginning phases, um, somewhat of our beginning phases, this is actually the first t-shirt that we are coming out with. So it says Mori Concilium across the front. And then it does actually have images of my our model, actually, who is my little brother. So we all we did was pretty much transparent his face. So yeah, but a lot of motion in it. It's like him screaming, him looking down. 
And then what is um, the most eye-catching thing, I believe, is going to be the, the back, memento modi. So pretty much to sum it up, to simplify it, that's pretty much what it means is remember you're going to die. Um, kind of just a reminder, you know, I think a lot of people tend to forget. It's just that, you know, nobody's immortal. And kind of what we base ourselves around of is just really why not die by this, you know, doing exactly what we want to be doing. So a lot of the stuff that we that. do is, is, is not just, um, you know, T-shirts and stuff. We actually deconstruct clothing. So a lot of the clothes that we wear, uh, pretty much 80 percent of the clothes that we wear, we, we make ourselves. Um, so as you can see, we have two pants here. Um, I'm actually wearing the first t-shirt that, that we ever made, if you want to talk about that real quick. Yeah, so that one is like just to kind of be out there more, it's like get people talking is really what we wanted to do. Um, we went ahead and threw Hitler on. We're not pro-Hitler. This actually says rest in hell up on top. It's just an old concept that we had before. Um, and then getting to like the, um, the other stuff that we do, like the deconstruction, we actually do a bunch of that as well. So these, just imagine, um, the, it was just a black pant at first, really. Everything that you see, I kind of just added on my own, from the patchwork to the pocket, our signature tag there, and even the Dean ring hanger. So um, kind of just stuff like this, uh, I like just turning the old into new. And um, whenever I make do make stuff like this, I try to imagine us being able to mass produce it in the future. pretty much all that we brought to showcase today. All right, I, I definitely saw some eye-catching designs. I think I really liked the back of the t-shirt. Memento Mori is actually a saying that I know quite well myself. And uh, it's definitely nice when uh, clothing you wear represents something like that. Yeah, of course. Uh, just yeah, a yeah. reminder that uh, nothing is permanent kind of a thing. Um, what, what, what is uh, your process when you come up with a new piece of clothing? Like, uh, I mean, uh, there's three of us, or four of us now. So like, I mean, like I said, it took us a year to, to figure out a name alone. So when it comes to the creation process, our creative process, it's like um, just us sitting there for hours. Like that's literally how we taught ourselves to do everything that we know is just sitting there for hours and coming up with something, um, and then us just like collaborating on it, and then. Having the final yeah, product. and I think what makes it harder too, since it's a group, you know, it's a lot. E I think it's a lot easier to kind of work on your own, but since it's a group, I feel like we do experience group growth. So it's just a matter of trust, I would say. Like I trust in a lot of things that he does creatively. I trust in my, you know, my boy Jerry, you know, to do stuff on his own creatively, what his ideas, my brother. So I feel like we kind of just we juggle with our ideas and kind of just mash them together at the end which is um, most of the time it, it, kinda, it does work. It, it is hard, yeah. it is a challenge, but we were really happy with the way that it does turn out. Which, which is good for the consumer as well, because it's not like you're just getting like one piece of work. You're getting like um, the psychological side of it, the creative side of it, and the actual uh, production side of it. All right, as we are nearing end time, I want to ask one final question. Do you have any quick advice for people that are trying to get into that kind of industry? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, we're still young at this. You we're know what I mean? And we're still young we're in still general. Into so yeah, we're so still really. We still have a lot to learn. But I think the best advice is pretty much do it. You know, out of heart, do it yeah. because you want to be doing it. Um, do try it. to stay away. I mean, don't. I mean, I guess it's okay to take in the trends. You know, but like always, always want to push yourself so that you don't fall yeah. into mediocrity. Do it literally because you like it. Like a lot of the times we go to the shop or we go and do something with somebody that we don't know, and they'll ask us like. Are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to do that? You know it's going to look like crap, right? You know it's going to look like this. It's going to look really bad, but we do it, and a lot of things that we do is because we like how it looks. Thank you so much. Uh, I really hope your brand gets somewhere. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Ooh.